Felixstowe Matters on this bright day. Today in the studio, not only do we have a musical duo, Tinlin, we have a new presenter, Leslie. Um, today, Tinlin are going to be discussing the fact that they're on tour with Paul Carrick. They're supporting them tonight at the Ipswich Regent and there are tickets still available. The two brothers are in fact um, put their music down to being raw and emotional. They're very good at harmonising and they also play with acoustic guitars and mandolin. So without further ado, I will show you now that their new album is available. It's called Shade of the Shadows and is now available from their website which is tinlinmusic.com. Here's Leslie with the boys and ask the first question of which artist would you most like to collaborate with? Probably collaborating with someone like Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Wow. No, that would be a, a dream kind of kind of yeah. Be amazing. And, and uh, I'm trying to think of maybe someone more akin to what we do as well. Yeah. Um, someone, if, if only Nick Drake was still alive, that'd be nice. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, I, I don't know really. I haven't, I haven't really thought about that much. Yeah, it's but, a difficult one to think because there's so many, mm. so many people, aren't there? You like, yeah. so you could do something that's completely the opposite of you and see how that works. But, but that would be a great writers, uh, uh, like like uh, Egg White, um, yeah. who's, who's a, uh, he writes a lot of the pop um, okay. music for people like, like Adele and Will right. Young, but he's actually in his, in his own right is a fantastic um, solo artist. Okay. And then nobody knows the stuff that he's done, no. he's put a couple of albums out, but he, and he's probably one of the country's Biggest songwriters yeah. of. You're going to write his name down. Yeah. I need to Google. I need to yeah, have look, a look, look at Egg White. Egg White. He used to be to in a band called Brother Beyond in the 80s. Oh my gosh, and, I remember uh, Brother Beyond. Yeah. Let's show how old yeah. I am. All right, let's not go anywhere. Let's not go anywhere. <laughs> in terms of the music that you make, how do you work together to make that music? Do you sit down and write together, or do you go off and come back? And how, how do you do it? Not often. I suppose what we tend to do is one or, one or other of us has an idea mm -hmm. and you know in either in nearly complete form or, or just do, as a, a small motif or something yeah and then we just we, we tend to build on that really. build on it yeah i mean we, we don't tend to just sit down and decide to write we a song right today like yeah. tuesday is songwriting day we, okay. don't, we don't have that it, <laughs> yeah, i mean sure. it, it kind of comes in in cycles of songwriting yeah. it's you have a, have a extremely uh, bountiful period which lasts for a couple of weeks and then uh, the rest of the year is fallow <laughs> so uh, it, it, it can happen like that and you, you have a lot of ideas and then out of all these maybe a dozen ideas you, mm -hmm. you maybe have h half a dozen songs and then out of those half dozen songs maybe two or three of your lucky will actually s stick okay. and the rest of them will sort of fall by the wayside or ideas will amalgamate mm -hmm. into, into these these final three, you know, yeah. so it's it's like you know, strictly come dancing. They would keep whittling them down <laughs> until you've got to <laughs> yeah. like the best, the best ones, yeah, the best bits, and they're the ones that stick. Okay, that's cool. And in terms of the niche that you are, you know, I know, you know, maybe you don't want to put yourselves in a, a particular box or you know, define, but but if you had to describe yourself in terms of the music that you write. How would you describe yourself? Because I've read what other people yeah. think, you know, you've been likened to Crowded House and Jethro Tull, or not likened to, but you know, your influences. Mm. Yeah. Well, what, how do you feel? It's impossible, really, to, 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 for me, or I don't know about you, mm. I can't, can't really describe it. I mean, Dad kind of hit the nail on the head the other day. He said, if I was going to describe you, I'd say you were... Chanson anglaise, uh -huh. you know, English song, <laughs> yeah. but with a French lilt to it, um, okay. which is slight, slightly weird. But um, yeah, but I don't know. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe that's a new, a new genre. Yeah, maybe it is. Maybe Dad's created something yeah. new here. Mm -hmm. um, Record labels, where are you in terms of, you know, looking or having record labels and record deals and... Uh, no way. No way, right. <laughs> <laughs> we need to sort that out, we need to get that sorted. I, it, the nice thing at the moment is we, we, we're doing it all off our own backs, it's, a, it's yeah. very much a, a homemade thing. I mean, we've, we've kind of produced and recorded our own album, but yeah. with, with help from our friend Gary Bull, whose studio we used. Um, so all of that was... We financed it ourselves, and okay. um, and we that was 
off all off her own back really and, and then we got we got it mar- our album mastered by a friend of ours called Nigel Bates who mm-hmm. uh, who actually used to um, master Paul Car- and engineer and mix Paul Carrick's okay, songs but good. um Rolf sort of knows him through a connection in France, don't you? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Um, so maybe we've, we've upped our game slightly with this latest album in, mm-hmm. in terms of professionalism, but still yeah. it's, uh, it's very much a homemade thing. Mm-hmm. And at the moment it kind of works while we're on tour with, with, with Paul Carrick and, yeah. um, and we're able to sell our, sell our albums as well and make, make a, a reasonable amount of money, but yeah, you know, it's, not, it's, not good, it's not, nowhere near like a life-changing amount at no. the moment. We've kind of had to sort of ditch our day jobs pretty much. So you're uh, doing this full-time right now? At the moment, yeah. 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 I mean, I, I run a little electrical firm, uh-huh. but, but um, I can't really, you know, it's impossible no, to No, I guess you have to commit, like you said, once you take your, your eye off the, yeah. the, the sort of ball, in terms of doing yeah. this, things might slow mm. down for you, so, you know, you're really sort of on top of it. And also you need to... You just need time to relax after you've done a, sure. a couple of shows back to back. You need to just chill. You, you don't need mm. to go straight back to work no. the next day because it kind of, I don't know, it upsets the balance <laughs> a little bit. But, yeah, I guess yeah. it's quite exhausting because, you know, when we watch people like yourselves up on stage, you know, we're there having a good time enjoying yeah. ourselves. But for you guys, there's a lot of work, a lot of preparation. Yeah. And how, you know, how do you look after your voices? <laughs> well, I <laughs> don't know if I have done that. This okay. morning it's sounding a bit rough. But I mean, <laughs> Um, we we actually we're quite strict about warming up before yeah. before mm. we sing. Mm-hmm. Um, we we normally sort of do make some very odd noises in the dressing rooms <laughs> and uh, it would scare the rest of the crew. Walking around you know, warbling. Bah, 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 yeah. no, you, you, you have to. It's like I mean, Paul, for example. I mean, he he warms up all day long before the okay. show. I mean, he does a ninety-minute show, you know, and that's a and he's 60, sixty. I mean, his voice is better yeah. than ever, and he um, but he's you know he's you have to do it because sure. you, you, you just will, will lose your voice. Yeah. And your voice changes, doesn't it, yeah. as you get older? Definitely. You reach different points where you know your your voice kind of mm. develops and, and sounds quite different. So definitely, I suppose you do have to have to look after. Who was I thinking? Of? Was it Mariah Carey? Apparently, doesn't speak for the day before she performs. <laughs> as a day of complete. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I suppose you saw some people are probably a bit over the top like that. But uh, yeah. but I mean, um, no, it's, you know, you, you can get uh, you can damage your voice very easily. Yeah. You, you know, uh, you did the other night in the night. Yeah, well, yeah, well. <laughs> at least you don't. At least nowadays, cause you, know, you know, in pubs and clubs that you you know years ago people were playing it. People were smoking, weren't yeah, they? yeah. But, but also just, just shouting, like just just shouting yeah. to be heard. You know, yeah, you um, uh, yeah, the, and all the more drinks you have as well, the louder they, the mm. volume gets. Gets turned up, absolutely. <laughs> so you're you're still gigging at the moment, yeah. Mm. Um, and tell me about the gig you've got tonight. It's the region, isn't it? Yes, the Ipswich? Ipswich region. Yes, it's uh, it's somewhere when we when we were you know living around here, we, mm-hmm. it was it was somewhere we were always aspired to play in, yeah, and and. Uh, and and now we are. So. Excellent. And Paul Carrick will be there also. Paul Carrick will be will be the main man, the main and man um, and we'll be joining him on stage actually for his set because we, uh, we we actually recorded uh, he recorded one of our songs on his latest album. Well, that's a hmm. an accolade, isn't yeah, it? Yes, so we played that, we we joined him on stage for that song during his set, so it's a nice bit of. Uh, a bit, bit more PR for us, and, yeah, and it's great, you know. Again, again, yeah, it's great to, to collaborate with him on that. Sure, that sounds really good. What about albums? What albums have you? How many albums have you had out? Uh, well, we've done. We've uh, <coughs> how many have we done? Four four albums. We, we, yeah. we've, we've got a live. Well, a live album. So that's not really, really count. But we've got, <laughs> but we've got um, we've got three studio albums. But we're kind of. And this sounds like cheating, really. Because the last, we're really happy with the last album we've just put out. Yeah. Just Shade of the Shadows. Yeah. And Shade we, of the Shadows. Yeah, we, we we spent quite a long time on that, and and we we had, we got a lot more help from professional people on that okay. album, and the the previous two were very much you know kind of bedroom bedroom <laughs> jobs. Yeah. And the uh, first the first one we did was done on a, a reel to reel tape. Wow. We didn't have a clue how to use the thing. That's the no. problem. And, it, and we, were, yeah, we had this big mixing desk and the, the, these, this mm-hmm. real, real thing, and we were both sort of <laughs> on, trying to find yeah, it out. Doing it on the fly, and yeah. uh, I think we recorded the album in a week. We, we did, yeah. We did a, f- a week of feverish activity, and it and it kind of has a certain charm, but it's it it yeah. does sound a little bit rough now. So what we're going to do uh, mm-hmm. the next the next project, I think, uh, when we're probably starting in December, mm-hmm. is 
re-recording it slightly more professionally because oh, there's some good stuff on there. Because yeah, there's, there's some nice tracks on there that yeah. we, we still play now, mm-hmm. but but kind of can't bear to play the CD. <laughs> <laughs> you need to hold on to it because you know, like I'm sure Nirvana and people look back and thought, you know, the crackly, yeah. real stuff is, is something quite, quite nostalgic and quite. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's great. It is great. I think you know, the, 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 there's definitely a place for it. But I think, you know, if we're talking about, yeah, maybe you know, going up a level in sort of professionalism, I think yeah, it's got to sound. Yeah, of a certain standard. Yeah, mm. it'd be nice to see the contrast for you guys yeah, to it would actually, and reflect yeah. on. Um, you know how different it really sounds mm. without losing it because you you know you've still got that there. So you're busy tonight. When, yeah. What what happens after tonight? Are you off anywhere else? Got any more concerts? Friday? Yeah, we're off to Amsterdam on Friday. Okay, Friday. so you you got a little bit of rest in between. Um, not much. Not much. Got a, maybe a day and a bit, but yeah, okay. we're we're going to Amsterdam for a, a, another show with Paul Carrick and possibly a, a a gig of our own in Brussels on the way, but. Um, mm. And then we're back. Um, God, I, I just lose track of all the dates, oh, but yeah, sure. it's, it's. You need a PA. We do, yeah. <laughs> Which, where where <laughs> am I tomorrow? <laughs> where <laughs> am I next week? Exactly. Um, yes. So and then basically, there's a little bit of a lull in December when, yeah. when so we're going to try and work on like this uh, redoing this album. Then it starts up again in January. Yeah. January through to the beginning of March. So. Okay, yeah, yeah, so you're always busy. What do you guys do for Christmas? What's your ideal Christmas? We're, going, we're actually going to France. We're going out to um, play some gig. We're doing a New Year's Eve gig out at some place in the middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm. And we're probably going to be spending it working really on writing, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah um, just getting away from it all really. And yeah, and, yeah recording and writing in there. Yeah, I guess you need that bit of downtime to, yeah. like you say, you can't just say, okay, today's Tuesday and we're going to write. Yeah. You have to be yeah. in the right frame of mind, yeah. I presume, to do those sorts of things. You can't just. Yeah. I mean, usually yeah. these, are, yeah, the ideas come when you're not, when you're least expecting it. So when you're yeah. doing the hoovering or yeah, some of that, and then do you ever dream things that you're going to write? I have really vivid dreams, and I wake up and think, oh, that's, that'd make a good story. But then they like, fade, don't they, so yeah. quickly? You have to start writing them down, otherwise you're just never going to remember them. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. does happen with songs sometimes. So yeah, maybe you get. Sometimes, if, if I'm lucky, you get half a song before it fades. Yeah, you got a little obscurity. bit of inspiration yeah. from it, maybe not, not too much. Um, how are you guys spending Halloween? Uh, Which is tomorrow, so you're going tomorrow. to be in... Oh no, you're not in Amsterdam no, no, then, we, are you? We've got Halloween off, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, we, we were okay. meant to be playing in the O2, um, the, Indi- the Indigo 2, but... Um, oh yeah. Uh, with another, as another... That's Paul a great venue. Well, do you know what? Yeah, it's, it, is, it is a great venue. It's diff- very different to the, the other venues we're playing on this sure. tour because it's um, it's quite it's not quite so intimate and it's uh, no, no, no. the indie, It's a bit like a big nightclub, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 and I guess if you use, you know, it depends what you're used to. It's a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, it's our great. So we're not we're not doing that gig. <laughs> we're not doing that. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> we're we're going to get some white sheets on and go and yeah, uh, go and go, 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 go and uh, oh, uh, get some coppers and scare people. <laughs> Okay, silly questions just to round it up so that people that are getting to know you know a little bit about you. If you're a sandwich filling, what sandwich filling would you be? I'll start with mine. I'd be fish finger sandwich. Mm, They're a bit more effort, aren't they? Because you have to cook the fish fingers. Yeah. Fish finger and ketchup is the way forward for I me. used to eat frozen fish fingers when I was a Why? kid. I Why? Don't know. Do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Those frozen Did they have to lock the freezer so that you wouldn't keep eating raw fish? Yes. <laughs> frozen food. <laughs> What filling would I like? probably I don't know coronation chicken? Oh yeah, that's that's quite exotic. That's quite yeah. nice. What about you? I think, do you know? I think I'd probably be just something really boring but delicious, like ham cheese pickle. You know, yeah, that, going be, for the more yeah, traditional, the plowman sort of uh, yeah. thing. Going for the more traditional aspect, um, and without wishing to seem morbid, we are approaching Halloween. So, what do you think you'd have written on your tombstone? Could have done better. Oh no, surely not. <laughs> That's a bit harsh on yourself. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a bit of a spot. I, I, I'm going to have to quote Spike Milligan and say, okay. I told you I was ill. Yeah, that's always a good one. That's always a good one. I think mine would say something like she was overtaken by events because I'm always seeming to be, you know, trying to catch up with everything and do everything. So, But it has been really, really nice to, to meet you. I hope all that you do with Paul Carrick goes very well and Thank beyond you. that. Um, anybody that wants tickets for tonight for the gig in, yeah. at the region can still get a few tickets? Can yes, yeah, should be able to, yeah. 
And uh, if you go to our website, tinlinmusic.com. Tinlinmusic.com. Can... Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, now we're going to hear these lovely young men play for us. So we'll just <coughs> let them get set up. And thank you very much. It's been really nice <laughs> to oh, thank you. It's better. What suit did you do? Yeah. Yeah, we'll okay. do, do a sad song for you all. Oh, okay. I'll get my tissue out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we're good at sad songs. It's been pretty sad today, I should think. <laughs> <laughs> This one is steel. Four, five, six. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Pleasure.